Greetings and salutations, rest of humanity and possibly aliens. It's your boy Freaky's Gaming coming at you with another Fallout 4 video. And as you can tell by the title, in today's Fallout 4 video, I'm going to show you a new unlimited bottle cap glitch. And since Bethesda sort of patched the vendor glitch, where you walk up to them, uh, basically buy all their ammo, sell them one back, uh, sell one back, sell all of them, and then you still have one in your inventory, and that glitch has been patched. So this is sort of a new glitch, and this glitch does take time. Don't expect instant, instant, but it is pretty good. So what you guys are going to want to do is come here on your map to a place called Good Neighbor. Good Neighbor is located right here, sort of in the center of all these buildings here. Uh, here's Diamond City for reference, just in case anybody gets confused. And around it, there is Postal Square, old grainy burning ground, uh, and Park Street Station. But once you get here to Good Neighbor, all you're going to want to do is come here to the place called Guns, Guns, Guns. Now behind Guns, 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 there's two items that you are going to want to steal. Situation. One would be the Fat Man here. Protection. So all you do is walk up to it, hold X, go upstairs where nobody could see you. So preferably in this corner right here, crouch down, make sure you are hidden. Hit X, make sure nobody could see you. I'm going to empty out my inventory here just real quick. Uh... So we're just going to get some, rid of some of that stuff. There we go. We're able to move now. And then the second thing you're going to want to grab is this mini nuke here. Now, I choose to keep these mini nukes because they are hard to come across. But some of you can uh, sell them back if you want to. So just pick, take the mini nuke here. Go back down here. Talk to Cleo. Don't worry. Once you guys talk to Cleo, sort of open up his barter interface. Once you open up his barter interface, what you guys are going to want to do is sell him the fat man now I have two of them here so I'm just gonna sell him one fat man there you go you guys can see I get 294 bottle caps for that so we're selling him that one the next thing we're gonna do is go to our house or wherever we live uh, actually you guys could go to Diamond City if you want to so let's head over to Diamond City and I'll see you guys in a second all right guys once you are in Diamond City which is located here on your map for people who don't know where it is what you're going to want to do is run on down here. And then you're going to want to wait for seven days. I suggest not waiting for seven days anywhere on these uh, couches or these chairs or these benches. Because the vendors do walk up to you for some reason and engage you in conversation. And you're no longer able to wait. So what you're going to want to do is come here to the dugout inn and wait on this bench. When you get to the bench, what you guys are going to want to do is wait for one week, seven days inside the game. Uh, as you can tell, it's the 12th now, so I will see you guys on the 19th. Yeah, I'll see you guys on the 19th. I had to do the math there, but I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, once you have we waited a week like I have, and you see it on the screen, and it is 7 days later, all you guys are going to want to do is get up, head back on over to Good Neighbor, Using the fast travel system, which is a lucky thing because you can fast travel from this area here. So once a good neighbor, I will show you what to do. Once you guys are back in good neighbor, after seven days, you can see that the fat man and the mini nuke have both respawned. All you do is take them back up to your location, your little thing here you could tell this is where I dropped all the armor and stuff from last time so we're gonna go back over here pick up this fat man here wander it on back up the stairs drop it right here steal everything we need when we are hidden walk back on down the stairs walk up to Cleo, hey, Cleo. I hope you're buying. Talk to Cleo. I've got a few minutes to Open run. up his little barter interface here. Once you open up Cleo's barter interface, all you do is you guys can tell I have two fat mans once again. We're just gonna sell him that one, and as you could tell, we are about five, six hundred caps richer, which is really, really handy in the game. We could also sell him the mini nukes, but I really don't like to sell the mini nukes because they are hard to come across sometimes. And I like being able to have mini nukes to destroy death claws. And big, really hard enemies uh, in the game. So anyways, hope you did enjoy the video. If you guys did, please drop that like, comment, and subscribe for the best Fallout 4 how-to videos, all the unique weapon and armor locations, and much more soon to come to the channel. Anyways guys, it's been your boy Freaky's Gaming. I love each and every single one of you. 
I will see you guys right back here tomorrow. And remember, stay freaky.